Hello and welcome to Car and Bike. This is Aman Ahmed coming to you from the launch of Kinetic Green's latest electric scooter. It's named the Zulu, and I know what you're thinking: that this scooter looks somewhat familiar. Why does it look so familiar? Well, I'll tell you why, and I'll also tell you all you need to know about this scooter: its details, specifications, availability. But before we get started, make sure you hit subscribe so you keep getting all the latest updates from Car and Bike, and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. So when you look at the Zulu, I know that a lot of you will realize that it's a design that we've seen before, and that's because it is. We've seen this as the Okinawa Ridge, and also. on some other scooters from lesser known brands it is a little bit of a disappointment that a design that was dated even 5 years ago continues pretty much unchanged even today but kinetic tells us that this is a scooter designed for the masses and the masses will like a neutral design like this one so starting off right at the front you can see the headlight a standard halogen fitment is incorporated into the apron and you've got these funky looking LED DRLs up top. There's a four carbon fiber finish for the mirror casings. Uh, not particularly well done. The scooter rides on 10 inch wheels at both ends. It also has disc brakes. You can see uh, the twin sided fork over here, and the scooter also has twin shock absorbers at the rear. Over here, you will see the scooter has a fairly spacious footboard. There's a digital uh, instrument cluster. It's a negative LCD, and once it starts up, you can see that the scooter is fully charged right now, and it's showing a range of around seventy-four kilometers. There are some other icons uh, either side of the main screen. Switch gear uh, feels fairly average; nothing to write home about. In terms of practicality, the scooter has a lockable glove box. I'll just show you. It's carved into two. sections so there is uh, some decent storage over here and you also get some usable under seat storage so i'll just open the seat as you can see there's quite a bit of room over here and that's because the battery pack is under there i'll just take off this cover and you can see the 2.27 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery pack it's a it's an nmc pack uh, and it's also removable although taking it out will take some effort as kinetic tells us the battery pack weighs over 20 kilos also there's a usb charging port right over here and a boot light as well so now to get down to some brass tacks the zulu has a hub motor as you can see at the rear with the 2.27 kilowatt hour battery uh, kinetic green tells us that the zulu has a certified range of around 104 kilometers You have to remember that the real world figure will be lower, uh, and we expect it to be anywhere between 65 to 75 to 80 kilometers. The top speed of the Zulu, thanks to its hub motor, which can develop a peak output of 2.1 kilowatt, is 60 kilometers an hour in sport mode. There are also two other modes, which I believe are eco and city. And uh, overall, the scooter looks like a decent package. There's nothing that will. wow you or blow you away there there's also some level of connected features that will be on offer with the zulu kinetic tells us that there will also be a second battery option uh this battery will be lighter and will feature active oil cooling but it will be more expensive it will also feature fast charging so you will be able to regain 80% charge in just half an hour but this battery option will cost more and it will come at a later date so right now the zulu with this battery costs 95000 rupees ex showroom this includes the fame to subsidy that the scooter is eligible for and kinetic will also offer a subscription program with which you can buy the scooter and pay for the battery as a service so you will only have to pay 69000 rupees for the scooter and roughly around 800 rupees every month for using the battery for a period of 3 years so what do you think of the kinetic zulu Are you a little disappointed that it looks pretty much like many other electric scooters we've seen so far? Is there anything in particular that stands out to you about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section. And if you enjoyed watching this video, found it informative, please make sure to like it and share it with your friends and family.